To say that I'm disappointed with these will be a massive understatement. Hey guys, welcome back to Kicks Business Channel and today we're looking at, at the Reebok Pump Shack Attack LA. And I have to say, this was a highly anticipated colorway for me. I really like what they did. The almost muted entirely black upper with only these hits of gold and purple to match the LA Lakers and uniforms. And seeing them on pictures, you can never judge what kind of quality we're talking about and what kind of execution. But unfortunately, they are very disappointing for me because the whole shoe is made out of synthetic material, synthetic leather, synthetic new book. Everything here you see is very synthetic. There's not a single part of genuine leather or genuine suede on it. And funny enough, they're so light because of all the synthetic materials. The one I've showed you in my previous video and some of the other ones featuring genuine materials are much heavier. Uh, I guess this is the only thing they're going for these ones. They're super light, but uh, the rest of it is kind of kind of a bummer. Of course, we have a real graph light, which is excellent to see. At least they didn't skimp on that. And the other a minor detail that not a lot of people will probably notice, but I noticed myself, is the overlay over the vector is textured new book with this specific uh, pattern that it's very reminiscent to the original one. And this is how the original one was made now the biggest disappointment of course is the lack of any genuine materials any genuine leather not even on the toe box the toe box is not reinforced and we have a very thin synthetic leather uh, kind of uh, reminds me of what jordan brand was doing in the early days of the retros uh, or the early days of the booming of the retros in 2012 2013 where they were just producing as much as they can so they can sell them but i don't think this is reebok's game i think reebok should be sticking to the genuine materials and this is one of the main reasons a lot of people are buying them including myself i think they did these ones very very dirty and honestly asking the same price as other shack attacks that feature genuine materials when we have full synthetics here it's absolutely not right and i will advise you not buying these until they drop on discount uh, again, the colorway is excellent. I really like the colorway. I really like what they did uh, to match the uniforms of LA Lakers, uh, of the story, uh, even the color of the top of the insoles, uh, which is kind of these palm trees with purple and gold again, and Reebok on top of it. It's Ortolite insole again, no, no Reebok athletics here. And because of how thin this toe box synthetic leather is the whole toe box is creasing very weirdly uh, right on top of where the overlays are going uh, not through them like the genuine materials so your toes kind of like where your uh, toenails are going to be are weirdly bending right there and pinching it so uh, i'm not i'm not really fan even of the fit uh, the the padding is very slim it's nothing like the one i just showed you uh, with the street fighter maybe half the size of the padding uh, the tone is very slim as well again the pumps are working but you know they're not like the original ones obviously uh, but it's good to say that both of them are working and if you pump like 10 to 12 to 14 times you're gonna get some air inside uh, no problem the outsole is entirely black just like on the original black and azure and this one is going to be releasing soon here and i hope i really hope and i'm crossing my fingers that we're not going to see the same level of materials and we're going to see a genuine materials again because the 2013 pair that i have six pairs of is almost entirely uh, genuine thick uh, leather uh, very nice just like on the original pair we're here uh, again for the million time it's all synthetic synthetic overlays on um, synthetic underlays, synthetic vector, synthetics on the ton. Everything here is synthetics. Uh, in interesting, very uh, different texture on the inner liner as well. We have a shack patch on the back of the ton and regular shack logo on the hill. And as much as I like this colorway, I cannot say that I'm excited about it. Just seeing these synthetics and they smell like synthetics. So uh, nothing amazing. On feet, you guys are gonna see them. They fit just like any other Shack Attack they just recently released. The very comfortable with a softer uh, midsole, softer than all the previous releases, all the previous retros, including the OG as well. Uh, the graphite at least is there, carbon fiber, and this is uh, about it. We have synthetic laces, they're not cotton ones, and the purple underlay, uh, which is made out of synthetic leather, is so thick and kind of uh, stiff 
uh, that you might have some problems here with these top uh, lace loops digging into your foot. Uh, it's hard to break them in. Synthetics are hard to break in in general. Uh, that's why genuine leather is always preferred. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, Reebok really skimped on, on this project. Maybe they channeled the money towards other ones, other Shack Attack models. Uh, but this is the flagship model, guys. I, uh, personally, I consider this is the flagship model. I don't consider the, the question the flagship model. This is much more technology advanced. I think this is much, this is a much better looking shoe. I think for me personally, this always been in the top five of all shoes of all time. That's why I love it so much. And I think Reebok should have, be, should have been investing more in this specific model because the Shack Attack is a staple in Reebok. The first one to feature Graphlite, one of the best looking shoes ever created, uh, one of the most expensive back in the day. I think this was the most desired shoe among all the kids that I knew back in the day, even uh, before any Jordan model, even before any other uh, Barkley model or anything like this. Whoever had the Shack Attack, they were the real baller back in the day. And it's kind of sad to see, you know, uh, good colorways that potentially could have been original colorways getting released uh, with poor materials. These are produced in uh, July of uh, 22, so about six months ago. Um, so yeah, not much to talk about here. Um, those of you that bought these, hopefully you didn't pay full price. And if you did, I feel sorry for you. Uh, definitely uh, don't buy them on full price because you're not gonna get uh, the quality that you're expecting. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, hit the thumbs up if you like the video, stay tuned to the channel, subscribe if you're new. There are a lot more videos coming very, very soon with models from Reebok and other brands that are much better and much higher quality. Some very interesting ones coming to the channel very soon as well. And as always guys, you have a wonderful day.